Yo, EMD. Yeah, what's up, man? They go that girl they call Roxanne. And right now, I'd like to introduce another member of one of the Keystone dancers. His name is the Kango Kid. Hey, Kango, come on out here, man. Show him why we call you the Human Velcro. This is not an imitation. This is my voice. Give him some help. Give him some help. <laughs> Dropping this single, Roxanne, Roxanne, in 1984, UTFO has broken many records and have become hip-hop legends. Here to hit the stage with DJ Ace and DJ Diamond, y'all make some noise for Kango Kid. <laughs> Um, Kango came up with this term and called it frenemies, and that's what we are now, which are, you know, which are friends, which are friends now that were once quote unquote enemies. So he calls them frenemies, and and I smile at that term because he happens to be one of my nearest and dearest friends in hip hop now. And so the connection was not only for the fact of wanting to perform, but also the connection of wanting to do things outside of hip hop, where he does a lot of wonderful things for the Haitian community, for cancer research. Uh, for children going back to school. So it was like our philanthropy also crossed paths. So I, I, I really do enjoy being friends with Kango. When Houdini hired Doc and I as their dancers, there were no other dancers for rap groups. Mm -hmm. The minute we blew up on Freaks Come Out at Night video, every rap group had to have at least two dancers on their set. It became the blueprint of how a rap act should look on stage. Kango never forgets. Like, we love UTFO, the group. Um, but Kango kind of followed in our footsteps because he was the first producer. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, and that's what, right. and, and the songwriter. So, um, and what happened is that we even let him, he said, yo, I got a song to write, you know, for Lisa Lisa. Mm -hmm. We let Kango write a joint, co-write a joint with us on uh, Lisa's first album. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's how much respect we had for him because he wanted to do this. What you see right here is a hip hop pioneer, rapper, legend, that whole thing. But I didn't grow up saying I wanted to be a rapper. What I wanted to be was a songwriter, a singer, a producer, and, uh, and, and so I got a chance to do that when I presented a song to Full Force, our managers and producers at the time, and I said, yo, give me a shot, man. I love you more, and God bless you for everything you've done, for this industry, for the music, for the people. Thank you. Ditto, you did the same, girl. I love you. Reunions TV, I'm Sway Calloway, of course, and I'm sitting with the man of the hour. This guy right here helped shape my hip hop sensibility. I mean, we're, we're, we're the same peer group, but he got on so quickly and early on in, the, in our culture, and he, he got exposure early on, and he really, you really taught a lot of people how to be a performer, how to be confident, you know, how to be distinguishable in what you do. And I want to thank you for that. You've done so many firsts. So give it up for Kango Kid, ladies and gentlemen. Kango Kid. Thank you. Come on. You know, he was a, a trumpet for a cancer initiative long before this happened, you know? And he would go throughout the country supporting this Mama Luke Foundation with the t-shirt getting up. I mean, he was big. So, you know, you know, whether he knows it or not, because he was already, I mean, my interpretation, because he was already a, 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 a trumpet and a champion for another cause, he was already spiritually and energetically fortified mm -hmm. and armed with that. And that's what I saw and that's what I shared with him. I'm, I'm being as brave as I can. Mm -hmm. And I have a responsibility. I am a superhero in this world called hip hop. Absolutely. And uh, I can't go through something like this, keep it to myself and not share this with everyone else as to, you know, go get yourself checked. You know, I love, when, it's, it's flattery when someone follows you and do what you did. Don't do what I did in this yeah. situation. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get myself checked early enough. Uh -huh. Don't follow me. So I'm letting everyone know, hey, that, that thing right there, don't do that. Go get yourself checked. And so that's the responsibility as a superhero to pass on and I've been doing that and uh, at the best of my ability, bro. Mm -hmm. What is it you'd like to leave your fans with though, right now? That's watching, 
this, this program? Um, inspiration. Mm -hmm. I hope to bring inspiration to people in just so many things that I've done. And uh, hopefully they'll take heed to that and go, gang did it. Black. 